Today's mission, get something done. Try to build the amp rack if I can. First thing I gotta do is I gotta find a good spot. I think I've located one. I know it seems like I'm taking a lot of time on this, but I really can only get stuff done when I can. We're talking about vehicle availability. I'm supposed to be working on Jaybird's ride, but Jaybird has a job and he works all week. He works like six days a week, so it's kind of hard for me to get my hands on his vehicle. I gotta have a break in my schedule at the same time he has a break in his. We're gonna get back at it, but we got KK's ride with those 24-inch woofers. We just got his amplifiers. We had to start figuring out an amp rack for that. And of course, we got this F-250. It's not gonna be a very high-tech system. It's gonna be pretty nice, I think. I gotta find a place to put this little amp rack. If you saw the last video that I did on this truck, I've already ran all the positive and negative cables from the front battery, and they're all in the back waiting to go, ready to go. All I gotta do is start mounting stuff, and once I have the amp rack done and mounted, then I can start thinking about running the optical cable or RCAs, whatever I decide what I'm gonna do. So let's pull this seat down, let's look in the back, let's take out the thing that's in my way right now, and see if I got room to do what I wanna do. gotta be room in here to do what I want to do. It looks like it is. So we got a factory subwoofer right here. Scrap if dropped. And a little bit of extra space over here on this side. I'm not sure how much of it I can use, but if I can use a little bit of it, I'll be good to go. So I say it's time to take the factory sub out. Make a little amp rack that fits in that little spot. So we got one, two, three bolts it looks like. Uh, go ahead and pop this wire off. No, the base is gone. The base is gone. <laughs> Look at that. What a piece of shit. This thing feels so light. It just feels like garbage. No wonder this thing has like, well, I'll give it a little bit of credit for feeling like it does, for looking like it does. It actually did have decent bass. Nothing worth really talking about. It really is kind of sad, but it's okay. It's gonna be gone. Maybe in a future video, we'll dissect this. For now, we have the task at hand, six 6.5s. All right, it's kind of uneven, but it's still a lot of glorious space. The jack is in the way though for what I'm trying to do. I'll take that thing out of here, make a little template, find out exactly how much room I have to do what I wanna do. I mean, clearly, this truck is huge. I'd be embarrassed to be on the side of the road with this little tiny jack. I always bring a floor jack for long trips anyways. Take that out of there. So I'm just trying to see what kind of space is available. I got a really uneven space to work with, so I just gotta do what I gotta do. I think it's gonna work out good though. cork stuff that's a byproduct of the gaskets that we make peel and stick so I filled up a little gap with that pop it back out take some more measurements put it on the laser do it again till it's right
general area. See if they fit. Make them look pretty later. So right now I got a bracket, a bracket, and then there's another bracket over there. That's for the factory Sony amp. It's got a nice little threaded hole. I'm gonna use that over in the corner. Should hold up pretty sturdy. I hope. Now we just gotta make a couple marks on the bars, bolt this board onto those bars. We're good to go. I don't know if that's even reaching.
that all dialed in I'm gonna mount the amps where I want them make sure it's all gonna fit those gains are gonna be hard to get to so this whole thing has to come in and out while the wires are hooked up it's gonna be kind of tricky but I'll make it happen I suppose <laughs> These ain't necessarily gonna stay like this. Everything is subject to change. But I'm just seeing where I wanna put everything. If I like the way this looks and it all fits in there the way I hope it will, then it'll stay. And I'll put a nice beauty trim over the top of it and it'll be done. But right now, I'm just mocking it up to see if I like it. little secondary platform we got the audio control DM810 processor That's somewhere right here something like that and we got a split block to distribute the power not sure if it's gonna look like this when it's all done but sort of the direction I'm heading and of course you know I'm gonna bust the laser out and put a nice little trim piece over the top of this to make that look extra nice So I hate to end the video on that note. No wires hooked up or anything like that. It took me a lot longer to build that platform than I thought it would. But it's nice and sturdy now. Everything is where I want it to be. And next time I dive in there, I can start running some wires. And hopefully I can get some music out of this thing. So check back with me soon. I'll get to it when I can. And uh, this thing should be bumping real soon. Let's take one last look at it before I shut this video down for the day. You probably already know if you watch the other videos that things got. 6B2 audio, six and a half underneath the seat. Box built by Bobby Gailey, of course. Let's drop these seats down. Let's take a look, bud.
Nice and clean, nice and sturdy. Just needs some tender loving care on the cover. Run some wires, of course. Let's check out that bottom platform. Lift that seat up. There we go, right there. Some power distribution. And my processor. All right, so the plan is to get all the power wires ran, get all the RCAs ran, not disturb the factory system at all until the very last minute because this vehicle gets used every single day. I don't want it to be down while I'm running around town, not having any kind of music, any kind of sounds. So the, what I'm doing right now, the plan is just get it all in here, get it all as pretty as I can, get it the way I want it, get the power wires ran, get the speaker wires and stuff going, make like a nice little trim cover for this so it looks even better back here. And then at the very last minute, when it's all said and done, hook the mids and highs up whenever I get to those. I don't know when I'm gonna get to them, but boom, it'll be done. I'm getting all the hard stuff out of the way right now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the videos. And uh, I'll be back at this real soon. Get it while it's hot. Ow! Careful. I'll take that part out for sure.